Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I am sharing my tips on how to keep learning fun. Um, especially learning at home. I feel like these are applicable to anyone with children. I just think it's really important that we keep learning fun and interesting for our kids. It keeps them craving more, wanting more, and that's something that's really important to us is that it doesn't become stale and boring and monotonous, you know, so that they want to keep learning. I'm constantly teaching myself new things, taking classes, doing things online to try to learn more, you know, about things and topics that interest me. So I definitely hope that I can pass that love of learning on to my kids. Okay, so today's video is sponsored by Learning Resources, and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little bit about coding and sharing with you guys about their fun coding robot. His name is Botley, and he's real cute. <laughs> and yes, I think that robots are really cute. So he's really cute and he's really fun, and I'm gonna share him with you guys in a little bit. So I'm gonna share with you guys kind of my five best tips for keeping learning fun and interesting. The first one is hands-on learning and or field trips. Anything that you can do with your kids to not just give them a concept up here, but something that they can use their hands or they can see with their own eyes. I think that that is critical and so important to keeping learning fun and interesting. The more of our senses that we can use to experience something, the more likely it is that we're gonna be able to recall it later and remember it. So something like if we wanna teach our kids about civil rights, we're not just gonna read stories and talk about things, but we're gonna go hop in the car and drive to the Civil Rights Museum that's about an hour away from here. We're gonna go, and we're gonna see things firsthand. We're really gonna experience it. So the second one, and this is something you guys have asked me to talk a little bit more about, is letting your kids choose what they're learning about. So found something that's interesting to them right now, they are a lot more likely to retain the information that you give them about that if it's something they're already interested in. Um, so for example, when my kids come to me and they wanna know more about the planets, I know that they're gonna retain more about the planets when it's like something that's piqued in interest for them. Okay, the next one is choosing multiple ways to learn about something. Again, not just reading about something, but maybe watching documentaries about it, using the computer to, to research, using manipulatives, things like that. I know that like, for example, we're gonna talk here in just a second about Botley. And it's a fun robotic toy that teaches your kids about coding. And I will tell you guys that my initial reaction when I first heard about this was like, um, it seemed really overwhelming and scary to me. When someone says coding, I think above my pay grade. STEM, which is learning all about um, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, that kind of learning is so critical these days. So critical these days. It is the future. It is things that our kids are going to need to know to be able to not just excel, but to just like, I mean, they need basic knowledge to get through the world as they grow because of just the importance of technology and how much we use it. So there's a big push for teaching kids um, STEM type learning and STEM activities and um, things that really exercise those parts of their brain. And so I wanted to try Botley out with the girls, see what we thought of it, because again, that's not where any of our brains go naturally. So I just wanted to see like how that would work for some people like us. And we were totally impressed. So I'm going to cut to and show you guys um, the girls opening Botley and then um, kind of getting him set up and learning like the basics of coding. And then we went ahead and did a really fun like obstacle course type thing where the girls each had to code their way through this course and um, it was just really fun. The girls had a lot of fun with it and they've been making him do everything from <laughs> from follow these courses and track a line to um, dancing. They, they've they figured out how to code him to make him do little dances and stuff so it's been really fun. Okay so we are going to unbox Mr. Botley here and let's see what's inside because this is the activity set um, and so it's the Botley robot plus it comes with the 77 piece activity. So somebody open it up and let's see what, what we got going on in here. Okay. So, oh, there's Botley. Let's see, does he have a cute? He does. Look at his little robot face. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, and then this is the activity set. So these are just different things you can build. Okay, so these are the coding cards and then there's also double-sided tiles. And there's faces. Oh, stickers. I think that's for decorating these little things. But you've got arms for him, little balls that he can push around. And then where's the, yeah, let me see his remote. You use this to code him. So you're telling him where to go and then you're sending him the signal and there's different features on this where you can loop things, erase things.
things you've told him, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so you can see here that he, it's a screen free remote, which is cool. So it's just the coding signals that you're giving him. You can add arms to him. I want to add you can so put much. object detection on so he can detect when there's an object. And then he can also, of course, just do very basic black line following. We're going to get him set up and then we're going to build an uh -huh. obstacle course and you guys are going to race. I'm going to win. No, Who do you think is going to win? No, I'm going to win. All right, so he's setting up the obstacle course and the girls are gonna race against each other So we've got two Botleys going here. So they're each gonna have a side here And they've got to code him About how to get through the course you've got to set the right code so he can get through the course So what you need to do is you're gonna use these coding cards that show directions that you want to give Botley and You're gonna lay these out in the order that you want him to make moves. And then that way, when you go to plug them into your remote, you know what order you need to tell him to do like forward, forward, left, forward, forward, left course, and determine what moves he needs to make, what codes we need to send him. All right, so, so you one, need- one, two, three. Okay, so do that here. And then- And then what happens? Left turns is the blue. So you're gonna make him go. So forward three steps, right. left, left, and then left one. Forward, so when I turn him, he'll be here. So I'll go one, two, three, and uh -huh. then I'm gonna make him do another left turn. Uh huh. And then he's got to be able to come out and then he's do through one, the. And then he's gonna do two forwards. I think. Two forwards. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. How's your code coming over here? Good. All right. Let us program the Botleys for the course. All right, so you're gonna program it and let's see how you're gonna do this. You've got your code tile set up. So, do you know how to do this? I think so. Clear them out so we make sure there's no existing code in there. Now you gotta enter this code and then when we're ready for him to go, you'll hit this. Okay, so. Okay, so go ahead and enter the code. Awesome. Well, you both won because you both coded right. <laughs> so you both win. Yay. It's a tie. No, <laughs> I will come back for revenge. <laughs> All right, so we're going to code Botley to do a victory dance. All right, so. So that should get him to spin yeah. twice. So you can loop the code so that he repeats the code. Oh, he's dancing. 360 dance. Ta da! Ta -da. <laughs> Good job, Botley. Now, I want to try. So he might do a 360 loop this way, and then a 360 loop to the left afterwards. Because we forgot yeah. to let him go. Ta-da! Oh, I mean, now he's just going to break dance. Now, now she's just showing off. <laughs> to the front, to the front, to the back, to the back. Very you, can, cool. you can make your Botley dance. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how the girls loved playing with Botley. So I will leave a link down in the description box if you guys want to go check out Botley um, at Learning Resources and find out a little bit more about him. Um, we, again, had the Botley with the activity set, which I think was really fun because it gave the kids kind of just some parameters and ideas of where to start with coding and what they could do with him. So we barely scratched the surface of all of the things that he is capable of. You can never go wrong with expanding your knowledge and learning something new. So you should definitely check that out. And lastly, one of my favorite ways to really make learning fun for my kids at home, this is like my favorite, and this is what I like to do. I call them veg out days, where we wear our pajamas, we pick some kind of a theme, right? So maybe we want to really talk about and think about volcanoes that day. So we pick a theme, and then we just veg out on the couch all day in our pajamas, eating snacks and watching documentaries. I can either get them online at the library, um, at, we have like a second hand learning, store or download them from online like all kinds of different ways and we will watch different documentaries about that one topic and it's just really 
It's actually really, really fun if we all do it together and we're intentional about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some great ideas about how to keep learning fun in your home for your children. Like I said, I think giving our children a love of learning is one of the most important things that we can hopefully pass on to them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate that you would spend some of your very precious time with us here on this channel watching our videos. It means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. Subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. And definitely leave down in the comments any ideas that you have for ways to keep learning fun. Again, I love it when we have lots of good information in the comments. So when someone comes upon this video, they can go check down there and find even more great ideas. So thanks so much guys. And I will see you again soon. Bye.